Let's talk about where all these websites get their CD keys for OEM Windows stuff. I'll also talk a little bit about where they get it for like games and everything because that's a totally different thing. I don't support buying games on CD key websites. I only support buying Windows, like the OEM versions like I've been buying since Windows XP. I don't know if this video is going to be sponsored or not because I messaged and I said, hey, who keys? Do you want to sponsor this video? And they didn't say much. I asked them a bunch of questions about where they get their keys. They said usually from wholesalers. I'm mainly making this video because uh, Linus recently made a video. While the activation keys themselves may be legit, the means of obtaining them often isn't. And by supporting these kinds of marketplaces, you may be supporting organized networks of credit card thieves and fraudsters. And I think that's a very irresponsible thing to say without citing specific instances. I don't know. That's the point is I don't know if that's the case. I don't know if there's actually any credit card theft in all of this stuff. There's several different places where you can get CD keys online in bulk and they have nothing to do with stolen credit cards. So that's what I'm going to talk about. So first off, let's do the ad for who keys. You'll see it here if they say it's okay to put an ad in this video. If not, I'm going to do it anyway and I'll leave this in and you'll know that who keys did not sponsor. All right, if you're seeing this, it means Hookies agreed to sponsor this video, which is pretty cool in my opinion. And there's a few different reasons that I always like to buy OEM keys. I really don't like how Microsoft prices their operating system differently depending on who you are. If you're a big corporation or an OEM, you're gonna get a lower price. If you live in a different country, you're gonna get a, like a totally different price. I think we should all be paying one low price and that's why I grab my OEM keys over on Hookies.com. Let me show you something right here. This is the Microsoft store. That's the retail price. And now let's head over to Hookies.com. You can get Windows 11 Pro, but we have a little bit of a deal right here. See, there's like a 20% off. No, 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 let's let's not do that. Let's get 25% off Windows 11 Pro. Once you get over here, we got a coupon code down here. Just type in TS25. Take a look at the price, 3096. Let's hit apply. And now 2322, that's the price I wanna pay. You can also get the same deal on Windows 10 Pro. And at the time of making this video, Windows 10 Pro keys unlock Windows 11. So I would probably get one of those and save a little moolah. Let's see what that comes down to. $17.61 and again you can unlock Windows 11 with that at the time of making this video just do a Google search to make sure that that's still a thing if you buy this in like a year from now. You got Windows 10 Home, we got Windows 11 Home, and we also have a few different flavors of Office like 2019 and 2016. If you're looking at like Office 365 it's one of those monthly never-ending things. $129 a year versus $99 a year. When you grab Office 2019 this way for only $53.56 it just activates and works and there's no monthly fee. Let's go ahead and check out with our copy of Windows 11 Pro. I'm gonna use TS25 here and I'm gonna submit my order. 269, there we go, sweet. Yeah, sure, we'll save that. So after you make your purchase, just go ahead and extract your key. And then this is a history of all the keys I've purchased, but let's go ahead and click on view keys and codes for the new one. Now we're just gonna copy this. All right, here we just need to press start and then type activate. You'll see activation settings, go ahead and click on that. And then right here it says not active, that's okay. Just click on change product key, paste in our product key, press next, and then click on activate. Hey, look at that, active. Now I can come back over here and change my wallpapers and everything else. Great. Don't be messing around with those exorbitant retail keys. Grab an OEM key. Head over to whokeys.com. Thanks to them for sponsoring. And now on to our regularly scheduled program. Let's start off with this, the Microsoft Developer Network, otherwise known as MSDN. A lot of the keys come from this. So what happens is if you're like working with Microsoft, a lot of the times Microsoft will give you six, seven, eight keys every single day so that you can be testing and, you know, reinstalling stuff, running VMs, and you just have all these keys. And a lot of times these things are not really monitored. According to the terms of service, the developer who's using these keys is not supposed to be using these for commercial purposes. But sometimes a wholesaler will come and knock on their door and be like, hey, I'll give you $5 a key, $6 a key. What do you think? It's an extra like 30, 40 bucks a day that'll cover your coffee, cake, and, uh, uh, maybe a little snack on the way home. I don't know, a beer, whatever, whatever you want. We'll cover that for you. And they're like, you know, all my colleagues are doing it. A whole bunch of other people I know are doing it. So yeah, every day I'll send you my keys and you send me the money. That happens. That is a thing. You know, they're, they're in violation of their agreement with, with Microsoft when that happens. A lot of times those end up in a giant bundle that goes to a wholesaler that sells them off to the CD key websites. So that's one way. All right, before we go on, I think you need to understand the different types of 
Windows keys. So I made a little chart here. The different types of keys are HWID, KMS, MAC, and MSDN. We just talked about MSDN. Now we're going to talk about MAC. MAC are permanent installation, and these are usually like keys that are given to activate a large number of devices. So you have like small to medium sized organizations, maybe a little company or something, and these are not tied to any hardware. They're not like your regular, what you would consider an OEM key. They just kind of work and uh, you can install them. But here's the thing. They give you a key and they're like, here's this one key that you have. Now this key will activate 20, 30 computers, whatever. That's what you got. So, you know, you just take that key and use it 30 times. Now, sometimes these keys can get um, you know, like sold. If a company has a whole bunch of these, they're extra keys or whatever, they can sell them or they can give them away or they can leak or someone in like their IT department will be like, hey, I got a bunch of extra keys here. I'll sell them to one of these CD key wholesalers who will bundle them together and then get them to a site where they can sell them to you. Now, some of these keys, they might be the same as the key that they're going to give to someone else. I'm not sure if that's how Who Keys does it. I've, every key I've purchased from them has been totally separate. So I don't think they deal with any Mac keys. But you might have sites that sell one key and they'll sell it 100 times because they know it can activate 100 times. And when, it, when they sell it 101 times, someone complains. They're like, oh, sorry. And then they give you another key. So that's one way that it can happen. I think that's probably the least likely. Then we have our KMS keys, which require an activation server. If you're familiar with some of the old scripts that would activate these things, a lot of them were KMS that would you know connect to some other server, but they do require a server to like phone home and they generally last, you know, 180 days and then they're renewed. So I don't think you're getting any KMS keys at all. Uh, HWID are kind of like the OEM keys, but most of those are going to probably come from the MSDN stuff. They're permanent. They're tied to your hardware. So they're like, you know, regular OEM keys that say like, oh, you got this motherboard, you got this CPU, and we're going to be attached to this. And when you get, when you change out these things, it's no longer going to be a valid key. It's just required for the initial activation. And then I don't think it does anything after that. I don't think it needs a server. It doesn't have to be, you know, renewed or anything. It's permanent. Now there's another place that a lot of these come from. And that's arbitrage, a big fancy word that basically means that keys are cheaper in other countries. So there are some tools out there that you can use to look up where your keys came from. The last two keys that I purchased were from Thailand. So they got a bundle of keys that came from Thailand. One of them was a full on Thai retail key. It unlocked my, I'm using it on my main computer. It's like when you look at it, it's like, hey, you got a Thai version of Windows. No, no, it's a regular American, American English version of Windows. And uh, that's American English. This is British English. Yes, very good. Hmm. American English version of Windows. And uh, it just from Thailand, but it's a retail version. And then the version I have installed on this machine that you're looking at right here with your eyeballs that I'm, what I'm recording on is from Thailand as well. But that one turned out to be an OEM key. So cool. <laughs> Why not? I don't care as long as it works for me. All right, now it's time to talk about the really shady stuff. And I think when Linus was saying that there's a bunch of people out there who grab stolen keys or use stolen credit cards to buy a bunch of keys and then resell them, I think he was talking more about the key shops that allow multiple vendors to sell directly to the consumers. And I'm talking about places like G2A that are also really, really bad for games. So let's take a look at this. This is G2A. I'm sure a lot of you have heard of this before because they offer keys for a really low price. But how do they do that? Well, they don't sell the keys themselves. Most of the time they're sold by someone else. Over here, the offer from business seller. There we go, Bella Key. That's who's selling this one from 15 other sellers. And you can see we've got Premium Key, Bella Key, Kingwin right here. So Kingwin actually has its own website right over here. And you can buy Windows on Kingwin. Now there's a difference again. This is not sold by Kingwin. They're sold by the Gaming World or whatever. And there's other things down here. So here's the way these websites work. This website lists all kinds of game deals and it lists them from official stores and also key shops. Take a look at the official stores up here, like Fanatical, like I mentioned earlier, there's 51 more of them and you'll see Green Man and Indie Gala. These stores, like the Epic Store, Humble Store, Amazon, they get stuff directly from the vendor, uh, whether it be like a publisher or maybe from Steam or whatever, they get official keys. These are real stores. You can trust them. They're normal. But then if you scroll all the way down here and you look at the key shops, it says risk info. And then it's like unknown sources. And that's how a lot of these stores work. And that's probably what Linus was thinking about when he was looking at all these other stores. A website like G2A can get by with facilitating some really, really heinous stuff. And all they have to do 
do is say we're not the seller we just take a cut we allow other people to sell on our website as like an auction site you know like you wouldn't hold eBay accountable if someone went on there and sold something that they stole that's not eBay's fault that's the fault of the seller and that's kind of the way G2A works. They're like, we're not doing anything. Well, yes, they are. They know that a lot of the stuff on here is not legit. They're just turning a blind eye. Now, how do I get off saying it's not legit? How do I know? Well, I see all the time on indie game forums and Reddit and everything else, you see these indie game people who are like, G2A is killing me because what will happen is a bunch of people will message me and be like, hey, uh, I want to review your game and they're really excited because they're like yay somebody's interested in my game and then they're like we need four keys because I've got four other friends who want to review you know do a review for your game and we work with this thing and whatever and a lot of indie developers will send out their keys and they'll send four keys like why would you do that I see sometimes people are like this person requested eight keys and I was happy enough to send them the keys they never did a review and then I see someone with the same username on you know G2A or whatever selling eight keys or whatever that's um, that's a hypothetical but i'm saying i've seen lots of stories like that so sometimes they'll go and they'll do that the other way that some of these people can get the keys to sell on these key seller websites is by possibly maybe stolen credit card information that's not you know totally out of the question so linus could be right in that regard but it's only for those types of websites the way it works is they'll get you know a credit card or whatever and they'll go buy legit copies of these games legit you know serial keys and then after they sell them maybe they'll do a chargeback or something or they'll just you know use stolen credit card information to buy as much as they can before the credit card gets cut off by the time you activate your key who knows what's going to happen but i don't think that's how most of it works but that's the point is like you're not supposed to know where the key is coming from you're not supposed to ask any questions you're just supposed to say like ah oh, that's three dollars cheaper than the legitimate store and i want to save three dollars well you are costing that developer the entire cost of that key so just think about that when you're doing it if you care at all i know most people don't care about anything other than themselves and that's okay it's the american way it's the way of england as well in a lot of places just being like i take care of myself i get mine i i will rip off and destroy everything if i can have five extra dollars in my bank account at the end of the month i don't know so when it comes to these kinds of websites i absolutely hate them for games and i will never use one of these websites for games but you can also get windows on these websites you can get pretty much anything on here and the you know the website itself they just stand back and let it happen because they're taking a cut of every single sale, whether it's legitimate or not. And those are the types of sites that you should absolutely avoid. But remember, when you're on a site like WhoKeys, and there are several different sites like this, you're getting the stuff directly from WhoKeys. You're not getting it from Bob's Key Shop or, or Steve's Gameworks or whatever. You're not getting it from anything else. WhoKeys has been around for years now, and what they told me was they generally get their keys from people who package together, you know, keys into wholesale bundles, and they they gave me some speech that was nice about, like, oh, the customers are king, without them we're nothing, and all that kind of stuff. I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. That's the, the nice flowery things that companies say or whatever, but um, just from my experience from working with them for a few years, I've never had a bad key, so... And uh, the people who every now and then uh, do get a back key, I'll, I'll, they'll message or whatever in the comments and they'll say like, hey, my key didn't activate. I messaged them and they got back to me and we got a new key. So at all costs, avoid the key reseller websites that have multiple different users selling stuff. It's too nebulous, too much weird stuff going on on those platforms. And uh, yeah, and also avoid buying keys on eBay because that also comes from an individual. It's very similar to the way G2A works. So the bottom line here is it's hard to know exactly where all the keys are coming. I would say that the two most likely scenarios are MSDN keys that are being resold that came from someone who violated their terms of service. But once those keys are out there, they unlock and they're permanent and they don't require reactivation or anything like that. Or they don't require, I guess, um, they don't require any sort of renewals or anything like that. They just work and they unlock it. So I think some of the MSDN people are just doing this. And the thing that's interesting is Microsoft hasn't put a stop to it. They haven't like yelled at anybody that I know of. They're not like, it just, it just happens. I think Microsoft is more interested in you activating the operating system so that they can serve you ads and get you signed up with different services like their Office 365. They make you pay monthly for OneDrive. They want you on their platform and I don't think they care all that much how you get there. That's my personal opinion. Now, when it comes to like the whole, some of these are purchased with stolen credit cards. Okay, I don't know. Maybe cite that, please. Send me a link. If that's what's happening, I want to know about it because I looked online and I couldn't find anything. I asked the, the evil AI and the evil, evil AI said, maybe but it didn't cite anything. 
So everyone's like, yeah, maybe that's happening because there's a lot of confusion around where the different keys come from. And a lot of times where it comes from is obfuscated. And a lot of times the key website that you're on doesn't even know. They just bought a bundle from a wholesaler. And I can even show you what that looks. If you look online, you can find wholesalers that'll sell them for like, this is like a package of 500 keys or whatever. You can get 500 to 1,000 keys right here. You can get these and check this out. Go down to the bottom. This one says it's a Microsoft partner. They could have just slapped that on there, but this I've monitored this website for well over a month now. I just keep looking at it and like, hey, you look at that. So yeah, I can spend uh, a bit of money. You need a thousand keys right here. Good deal. These are Mac keys. So I don't want Mac keys. I want something else. But you know, you can like, you can find wholesalers that sell this stuff online. It, it exists. It's a thing. So I think it's way more likely that the CD key websites get it from people who are selling it through wholesale bundles. And that might come from retail arbitrage in different countries where it's cheaper. It might come from MSDN developers who are just selling their stuff even though they, they shouldn't. But if Microsoft's letting it happen, and it has happened, and there's almost never an instance where Microsoft has like gone online and turned this off. I see people fear mongering all the time saying like, yeah, you can get one of those keys and Microsoft's just gonna turn it off. I've been using these things since Windows XP, anecdote. and. It has never happened to me. Microsoft has never popped up and like, hey, we determined this key to be uh, an MSDN key that shouldn't have been given to you because this guy, Randy, he was working on some stuff. We gave him seven keys a day and that's one of those keys. We found it and we're going to shut you down. I've never, ever, ever, ever had that happen. Maybe it does. I don't know. Maybe one person does. I can't find a lot of instances online other than people fear mongering and saying, I'd much rather spend $300 or $250 or $200 or whatever it is on my super expensive key rather than to get one of these keys from the gray market. So I'm okay with the gray market. That's what I'm basically saying. And if Microsoft isn't shutting it down or whatever, that's fine. They could end this tomorrow if they wanted to. They could end all of this tomorrow if they wanted to just by saying, all right, all the activation scripts that are on GitHub, shut those down. All the MSDN stuff, activate one time, then they're done. Or like, you know, if, if anyone else, they have to be uh, tied to an IP address so that you can only use them at your IP address. If anyone else activates it, it won't work. They could do these kinds of things if they wanted to, but I don't think they care. This is not something they want to fight. They don't want to fight the nerds who are getting the cheap keys. They don't. They want to sell the expensive keys to the people who are normies and they want to make money with their subscription services and their ads that are in the operating system. That's what they want to do, in my opinion. So if any of you out there have proof that any of these keys are obtained through stolen credit cards, send it to me. I want to see it. Linus, send it to me. I want to see it. And then I'll decide if I care or not. I probably care because that kind of stuff affects real people, but I don't care about the arbitrage because I think the price should be the same across all countries. I don't care about the MSDN leaks. I don't care about it. I, oh, it's against the Microsoft's terms. I don't care. If it works, it works. I'm pragmatic and I don't play by those rules that Microsoft set out. If someone gives me a key from their MSDN thing and it unlocks my windows, I'm cool with it because that's just the way I am. I don't, if it was, if I'm not hurting a human being and it's just some mega corporation who's mining my data anyway, I don't give a shit. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Let me know what you think about this in the comments. Also want to mention something. It's a little bit chilly outside right now and I found a box of uh, sweatshirts and these things are premium. They're super premium. I stole one for myself, so that one's not going to be available. I only have a few left and I've priced these things at like a third of what they used to be or even lower. I don't know. Super low price. I got to package one of these up right now. One of these already sold. There's only some 4XL. We got some large and smalls left. There's not too many of them left. So get them while they're here and then they're gone. So head over to epicpants.com. I'll see you in the comments.